Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had a good New Year's yeah. Eve. And I'm super excited that it's 2016. Now, I have so many things that I want to accomplish this year, and I'm super excited for it because 2015 was a very good year for me, but it was a hard year also. So today's video is going to be, as you guys can tell by the title, my December favorites. And I have been wanting to do a favorites video for the longest time ever, but I have not got the chance to film anything at all since August. So I felt really bad. So I decided to do this video because I was going to push this one off and do like a January favorites. But then I have like this video that I want to do for like best beauty for 2015 like best beauty products and you know what i'm just going to share some of these stuff with you guys and i have a lot of stuff here that i want to show with you guys because i've gotten a lot of favorites for the past couple months since i haven't done a favorites video since august so i really hope you guys stay tuned and watch this whole entire video because i have a lot of stuff to show you guys and if you guys are new to my channel welcome subscribe if you guys haven't yet and i will see you guys Okay, so since I do have a lot of stuff in front of me, like there's a lot of stuff, I'm just going to go on with brushes first and then kind of like face, eyes, lips, however I feel like because I do have it categorized in here. So I'm going to talk about a lot of brushes because this month I have I've been loving tons and tons of new brushes, especially having them for a while now since I haven't done a favorites video since August. So for the first brush I want to show you guys is the Sigma Soft Angle Contour. It's the F23 and it looks like this. It's one of their new Sigma Face Architecture brush. I do have a 10% off discount code in the description box below. I'll list that down. You guys can get 10% off any Sigma products that I mentioned in this video. But this is an amazing brush that I've been using to contour my face. If you guys follow me on Instagram and on YouTube, you guys have watched a lot of bunch of tutorials you guys notice that i do use this brush a lot and that's because i absolutely love it i've kind of stopped using angle brush um like the small angle brush to do my bronzer i've been using this a lot to contour and literally it fits really nice in the cheek area and also works really well on the forehead and as well as the jawline so i find that this is just an amazing brush i really think you guys should definitely get your hands on it i think it's totally worth the 24 dollars. i believe that's what it retails for it's pretty expensive but it's worth the investment and so far i love it it has not shed at all also next brush i want to talk about is the sigma spotlight duster this is the f37 this is also part of their face architecture line and this brush has been my go-to brush ever since i started this baking technique that i have been seeing everybody doing and it's just a great product to remove any of the powder that you have put under your eyes after baking and it's just amazing i really like it just to highlight and set my under eyes so this has been a very nice go-to taper brush and i've washed it a couple times and has not lose its shape at all so i really think you guys should definitely check this out this is the f37 i still have a lot of go look at all this okay so the next product is the sigma 3d hd kabuki so this brush i've had it ever since i think september and i have been using this non-stop if you guys have watched my tutorial like i mentioned i've been using this a lot for my foundation and that is because it's just absolutely amazing it gets into the smallest area ever and it's just amazing so i used to really like my sigma flat top kabuki i still love it but i've been using this one like crazy so this has been my absolutely favorites i haven't been able to tell you guys that this has been my favorite because i haven't done a favorites video next two brushes that are very affordable that i want to talk about here is First off, the BH Cosmetic Blending Brush. I've had this baby for like two years and I've been having this ever since I started YouTube. So I'm pretty surprised how strong it's still going. Um, I absolutely love this blending brush because of the fact that it's so fluffy but it's also super loose. So it's nice to kind of fluff out every... Um, every harsh color that you have on your eyelid it's amazing it's super affordable i believe it's only three dollars i think so but bh cosmetic always have sales so always check out for that i'm planning to purchase more of this blending brush because i've noticed that i gravitate towards this one and my sigma e40 a lot and it's just perfect for the crease if you guys have like smaller eyelid i wouldn't probably recommend this because this is a pretty big fluffy brush and i think it's it is a little bit big for my eyes but i do have a good amount of space on my eyelid so that's why i like using it but so far i've used it on clients and it works really well also so i will definitely invest in this especially the fact that it's super cheap 
Next brush has been my favorite and it's actually my first ever fan brush and it is the Eco Tool fan brush. I don't remember the name but I believe they only have one fan brush. Although this fan brush is a little bit thick and it's not as you know as thin as the other fan brushes that you usually see on the market. I really like it because it does a really good job of just applying my highlighters. So this is an amazing affordable fan brush if you guys are looking for one. I believe I got it for only four or five dollars but yeah that's very affordable for just a brush. Definitely check this one out also because it apply highlights like a dream. Okay, so now since I'm done with the brushes, I'm going to go on with skincare. Skincare has been, you know, one of the things that I've been trying to get better at because I like to take care of my skin because you always have to have a smooth canvas to put on makeup to make it look nice. So the first thing that I want to show you guys that is a skincare item that I have been using a lot lately is the Peridor Professional Strength 20% Vitamin C Serum. And it looks like this. I've shown you guys this before last year. And I kind of stopped using it and then I went back and used it again. This is an amazing product. Literally, it makes your skin feel super tangly at first, like I mentioned. But also, it does really enhances your skin. And I could tell that my skin has improved a lot by this. Especially the fact that um, it does brighten up your skin a lot. And I've noticed it has brightened up my skin and it has just made my skin look a little bit better. So definitely check this out if you guys haven't yet. I think Peridot do usually have 20% off. I'll list that coupon code down below if you guys want to check that out also. But another product that I've been loving a lot lately from Peridot is also the Oregon Oil. And this is their body hair face treatment. And when I first got this and they sent this to me, I was like, I don't know what to use it for. But this year, I've been super, super dry lately because of the winter weather that we have here in Minnesota. I've just been squeezing this pump and applying this after I put on my vitamin C serum with my hands and literally my skin has been so smooth and moisturized throughout the whole day without reapplying on lotion so I have been loving this a lot especially as a nighttime skincare routine if you guys have not checked this out and you guys have super dry skin I really think this is a very affordable oil because a lot of oils that you see at Sephora or I feel like online is pretty expensive and I think this one is pretty affordable especially the fact that they do have a coupon code so I'll list that down for you guys this is amazing if you guys have dry skin I would definitely recommend this next product is face primers for sure and I have been loving the Becca backlight um, priming filter and I've seen Jaclyn Hill and Kathleen Lights use this and I was like I was kind of iffy about it but then I had a 20% off at Ulta and since I don't work at Ulta anymore I was like that 20% I need to get something so I decided to try it out it has a pump which I like and it's just an amazing product especially if you have dry skin if you have oily skin I probably would not recommend it but I'm just gonna pump a little bit to show you guys how it looks like so um this is the pump right here and as you um smooth it out it kind of gives you like this nice shine I don't know if you can tell through the light I'm gonna pump it a little bit more but but it makes your skin um, look very luminous. So if you guys have dry skin like me, you will actually love this primer because it gives you a nice luminosity on your face. Especially if you want like that nice dewy look for the summer. And anyways, you guys know me. I love that dewy look no matter what, even if it's winter, spring, or summer. Um, but this is a great primer. It lasts my makeup on all day. But other than that, it also smells really good. Um, next primer I would like to share with you guys is the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. This is my holy grail, I have to say, holy grail primer forever. Before I discovered this, I used to use the Maybelline Baby Skin um, Primer. But this is a dry skin girl best friend if you are dry and ashy on the face and cracky on the face this is your go-to primer girl this will help your makeup look flawless and i'm not just saying that because i'm lying to you guys i'm telling you guys that because it's freaking amazing it has a pump um i've been using this ever since the summer and it's still going pretty good but I love it because it's very hydrating the fact that it does have coconut water in it it smells so good I love it so definitely give out the Too Faced um, Hangover Eyes Primer a try if you guys are dry 
If you, if you guys are oily, you guys might like this, you guys might not. I know Nicole Girl on YouTube here, she really likes this a lot and she has oily skin. So, I mean, give it a shot. It's freaking amazing. I love it, especially for, like, my nose area and my forehead where I get mostly flakiness um, from my foundation. This has been a problem solver. It's like holy water for dry skin. Next product is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I have been using this a lot the past month and the month before this month. And I am in the shade in Natural Beige, if you guys are wondering. I have the foundation on my face right now. I really like it. It's not a matte finish or dewy finish. It's more of a um, demi-matte. So um, it will give you that nice natural glow. It won't give you a straight up matte finish, but you can always have a matte finish by putting powder on top of it. But I really like this because it has a pump and mine looks disgusting right now because I didn't clean it. But um, I really like the packaging. It's very sleek and nice. If you guys wanna watch my review on this, I'll list it down in the description box below for you guys. But and that I really like this product overall because it's just amazing. I like the way it doesn't dry out my skin. It doesn't flake off. It lasts all day, especially with this amazing primer. But yeah, this is a good foundation if you guys have dry skin, check it out. If you guys have oily skin, you guys would probably like it if you guys set it with a matte powder. Alright, so now I'm going to talk about powders. And I feel like the baking has been going crazy, especially on Instagram. Oh my gosh, I feel like this thing keeps falling off. But I feel like the baking technique has been going crazy on Instagram and YouTube lately. I have been going on that trend with them also. But lately, my two favorite powders to bake with is the Original Formula Air Spun Loose Face Powder. You can get this anywhere at Walgreens. I mean, not Walgreens, Walmart. And it's just amazing to bake with. It lasts all day on your face and also does increases. So I've used this under my eyes and I've noticed I don't get that much creases. But um, it's very cheap and affordable. If you guys are looking for a great translucent powder, this is a good to go. I think it's only $5. It's very affordable. And Patrick Star uses this to bake his face all the time. And then the next powder that I want to share is the NYX Color Correcting Banana Powder. And I've talked about this before, but this is just an amazing powder to bake with. I think it really reminds me of the Ben Nye Banana Powder. And... It's a very affordable one also. I don't remember how much it is, but I don't think it's past $10. It's still very affordable. Especially if you get an Ulta, you always can get um, Nick stuff for a buy one, get one half off. And definitely check this out because they do not leave creases under your eyes. They work really well for any kind of skin tone. And I just think it looks great, especially if you want to get into that baking technique like everybody else. Next is I have two items from BH Cosmetic. And one of them is their BH Studio Pro Press powder and i have heard what would lizzie do talk about how this powder is so similar to the mac uh, mineralized powder and she says that it's an absolute dupe but i actually love this powder a lot because it gives you a very nice coverage but it also leaves a very natural looking finish so it doesn't set your powder too matte to the point where you feel like your face is super you know mattified and literally some powder I feel like when I put on my face I can't move my face and this is the type of powder that will not do that to your face I really like how silky it feels and it just feels really nice it's very affordable I believe you get this for probably six or five dollars on BH Cosmetics especially if they have sales all the time and it sets my foundation very well so and it lasts all day I am in the shade 230 if you guys are wondering i think i need to get more because i am absolutely obsessed with this powder it's freaking amazing for the price i have not been using my um maybelline matte and port list lately because i've been using this all the time so you guys definitely have to check this out another bh cosmetic um product that i want to show you guys is their perfecting concealer in the shade light and medium this is a concealer wheel and this is how it actually looks like it's freaking amazing if you guys are new to color correcting and you guys want to get into that cream contour or cream highlight whatever it is this is just an amazing product this is amazing because the texture is not tacky it's very smooth and it's easy to blend out i blend this out a lot with my beauty blender well beauty blender and i'll show you guys what i'm gonna talk about in a bit because it is one of my favorites also but i've been using this banana shade a lot under my eyes and then the salmon shade to kind of 
color correct the dark circles under my eyes before I put on my foundation. And then I've been using this darker color to contour my face. If you guys want to see like a video on that, it's on my Instagram at SuperLeeSam. So check that out. But this has been freaking awesome. I love it. It doesn't flake under my eyes, especially I have dry skin. So I'm pretty sure you guys are going to love this, especially how cheap it is. It works Phenomenal. But the next um, product I want to show you guys is for the eyes because since we passed like all the face stuff, I want to go and talk about eyes. So one product that I have been loving is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this is in the number 20. And this is actually my second bottle. It's almost done. I have to go get a third one. And I've been loving this a lot because it just sets my under eye and cover my dark circle really well. And especially for the price, it's amazing. And also does a very good job staying. So lately, I've been having these very bad dark circles under my eyes. And I hate that, especially when I'm going to the gym and I'm not wearing my glasses. I usually wear contacts. So I've been using this a lot to just conceal under my eyes before I go to the gym. And then I set it with my BH Cosmetic Powder, which does an amazing job staying on, especially when I'm working out. So I have been loving these two combination lately. If you guys... Or just looking for like a small light coverage just to cover like a pimple or a dark circle these two does an amazing job especially if you just want something light and easy on the go next product is a highlighter and it is from Laura Geller and this is gilded honey of course and it looks like this it's freaking amazing it literally like broke out of um the thing so it looks like this now but I'm just trying to be careful with it because this is a phenomenal highlighter. I'm going to swatch it for you guys so you guys can see how freaking amazing this is. You see that? You see that right there? That is a gorgeous champagne glow highlight, right? Yeah. So I've been loving this highlighter a lot. Um, I got it at Marshalls because my sister works at Marshalls and they had like these makeup area and I wanted to look at some and there was Laura Geller's makeup set and my sister had 20% off during that time so I decided to snatch this and I haven't used this like crazy so if you see that my highlight is on fleek it's because of this and the champagne pop by Jaclyn Hill okay so now for the eyes I really want to show you guys this ColourPop swerve eyeliner and it is amazing um I know ColourPop came out with a lot of eyeliners lately. And I have been loving this eyeliner a lot because it doesn't budge at all under my eyes. And I have very watery eyes if you guys don't know that. I've used this to smoke under my lash line today and I did the little Arabic um, cat eyeliner under my eyes. Tell me if you guys like it because I think I look kind of weird. But this is a very affordable eyeliner and it's actually the best one that I've used so far. I've used plenty of eyeliner but they never stay in place and this one is like it just stays like that for the longest time ever so i have been loving this a lot speaking of eyes i want to talk about a dupe that i found that i have been loving and it is the salon perfect brow pomade in dark brown i know a lot of people have been talking about this in the past about this being a dupe for the anastasia dip brow and since my dip brow kind of dried up a little bit, I haven't been using it a lot. And I've been using this a lot lately. And it's what I have on my eyebrows only on my eyebrows today. And I really like it. It's super creamy. It stays on all day like my dip brow. And I really think it is a dupe. So if you guys want a cheaper alternative, definitely check this out. I got mine at Walmart. I don't know if they have it anywhere else. If you guys do know, list it down below. Because I would definitely love it if you guys, you know, can see the variety of where this is sold at because this is an amazing product i love it a lot and it's super cheap i believe i only got it for four dollars and that's super cheap comparing to the fact that the anastasia dip brow is 18 dollars a piece and this is a great alternative so since i talked about brows and eyeliner i wanted to share two brushes that i did not share with you guys earlier when i mentioned the brushes that were my favorite i've been loving the sigma small angle e65 to do my um eyebrows a lot this is what i use and this is the only thing that i will use for my eyebrows i will not use anything else even if i have so many angle brushes in my collection of makeup brushes this is the only angle brush that i will go to that i can count on when I'm doing my eyebrows, 
So if you guys have not gotten this um, angle brush yet, definitely get it. It's worth the investment. It's amazing and it's probably one of the best angle brushes that I've ever used in my life. The next brush is a Wing Liner E06 brush from Sigma also and this is the only eyeliner brush that I have used to do a wing liner especially with gel eyeliner. This has saved my life especially when I'm doing a wing liner and I want everything to be nice, precise, and easy. This has changed like my wing liner game man i'm telling you guys it's freaking amazing when lizzie said that she was not playing about this she was not playing i actually got this because of her and now i cannot live doing my eyeliner without using this amazing brush all right so i have like five more products to show you guys next product i want to show you guys is a palette and i have been loving the anastasia world traveler palette and i know i don't talk about palettes a lot because i kind of like change it up a little bit every time i do a makeup tour because i try to you know be a little bit different every time i use a product i've been loving this a lot specifically for three colors in this palette or well, actually four I've been loving Soft Peach, Morocco Fudge, and Pink Champagne. I've been using Pink Champagne a lot for the inner corner and then Soft Peach for a transition color, especially if I'm doing smoky eye. Morocco and Fudge, especially if I want to darken up the crease a little bit. I've just been loving these four colors lately. So if you guys are interested in this palette, definitely get it. I think it's an amazing palette. I don't know if they sell it anymore since the self-made palette came out, but probably check the website. I really like it. I think it's worth the investment. And the colors are just very nice and pigmented. Like, I can show you how nice this Morocco look. It's it's just phenomenal. I really like this color. I think I might actually get the single shadows because I use them so much. But, yeah. So, next palette is the Kat Von Shade and Lights palette. And this is the contour um, palette that I just recently got. I've been using the Anastasia one a lot and I kind of want to branch out a little bit. So I decided to go with this one instead because a lot of people say this one is as good as the Anastasia one. And surprisingly, I really like this one. I definitely love these two shades to contour. And if I really want like an intense contour, I'll go ahead and use this. Um, and then I love setting my under eye with this color and then I like highlighting my under, um, my brow bone with this color. I don't know what to use for this color yet, but... So far, I've been using each shade fairly, and I feel like I might actually hit pan on this very soon, but I haven't used this a lot to set my under eye because I've been using the NYX and all that jazz because I've been using the baking technique, but this is a very good palette to invest in if you want a contour kit. I would prefer this one over the Anastasia one, but I mean, it's up to you. I really like both of them. Another palette that I want to mention is the 35O by Morphe. And, okay, I'm sorry that I have to mention this. I know it's not in stock, but it's just so pretty. Come on, look at all that color. Like, it just literally screams, like, my name. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember this, but I did have this in my August favorites. And I have it again as my December favorites because... Every single mom ever since I've received it, I've been using this palette like non-stop. Most of my tutorial is based on this palette and I just like it a lot. Even if I'm doing a tutorial based on a um, another palette, I would still use this palette to use the brown color, the transition color, just to make my eyeshadow look better. So if you guys have not gotten this palette yet, once it gets in stock, girl run for it because it's worth the money i'm pretty sure if you guys follow jacqueline hill snapchat show definitely announce when this palette is in stock but overall it's 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 a dream come true in in a palette for me another morphe palette that i have been loving is the 35p and this is filled with purple if you guys have brown eyes purple look amazing on brown eyes i have like this palette on my eyes right now if you guys can see but I've been loving this palette because of the purple color lately. I've been into purple fever. Like, I don't know why. I've just been wanting purple smoky eyes. So, this has been my go to palette. I've been using this palette a lot. Especially if I'm not using the purple, I'm using the brown over here to do a transition color. So, yeah, these palettes are very, very pigmented. I'm going to show you guys how metallic 
this color is so that is how it looks like and it's just amazing so they're very buttery and creamy and they're pigmented so definitely check out morphe i don't know if this one's in stock i'm pretty sure it is because it's not 35 oh and this one seems to be popular too but check it out it's amazing product so next product is this precision blending sponge and this is how it looks like i don't know if you guys can tell but it's so dirty i'm gonna take it out of the box i got this at marshall's Literally, if I have to pick a store for it, my monthly favorites, it has to be Marshall. I've gone there probably three times a month this month, and it's crazy because that store is amazing. But this is the sponge, and I really think it's a dupe for the Beauty Blender, and it's only $4 at Marshall's or TJ Maxx. Both of those stores usually have this Precision brand, and it's so amazing. I don't want to show you guys because it's so disgusting. Come on, I need to wash this. But I just want to show you guys how bouncy and soft it is. Like, it's so squishable, you know? Like, that's how the Beauty Blender is. And I think I've seen Casey Holm talked about this. And she compared it with the Beauty Blender. And she says it's a pretty close cool dupe. So if you guys don't want to spend $20 for Beauty Blender like I do, this is a very cheap alternative. Oh my gosh. I feel like that was a very long video. Like, I hope this video is not long, but I'm pretty sure it is. But that is it for my December favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't yet. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at SuperlySam and SuperSam. I'll list it down right here. Or you guys can definitely check it out in the description box below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.